students welcome to the class today's date is 13th november 2020 as you know we have started the new lesson from the part 2 english textbook which is lesson number 9 oh nani tell me a tale so today we are going to do the reading and also i will summarize the lesson um so that you will you will understand the uh, poem in a better way so let's start with the learning outcome of today's discussion. So after the explanation of the poem, you will understand the meaning of the poem and write the answers on your own. That means uh, after, the, after understanding the poem, after discussing an explanation, you will understand the ex exact meaning of the poem. And then whatever questions will be coming in your exam, you will be able to write and frame it on your own. Then let's do the recap of what we did in our previous class. So we have uh, discussed uh, new words along with their meanings. So let's start with the tale. So tale means story. The tale is also the synonym for the word story. Then we have got the valleys. Valleys are the land that, uh, that, uh, that land between hills or mountains. As I have shown you the picture, the valleys are in V shape. And uh, they are in between the hills or mountains. Then we have got the word sail, which means to travel on water by ships or boat. When we travel by water, it is called sailing. Then heroes. Heroes are the brave people. Then wars. Wars means fights among people, groups or countries. Now I am going to read the poem once more. And uh, please listen to this carefully. The recitation, you're going to listen to it carefully. Oh Nani, tell me a tale by Manjula Shukla. Oh Nani, tell me a tale of a friendly dog that wags its tail, of hills and valleys and forest green, of little fairies and their queen. Oh Nani, tell me a tale of lions and tigers and ships that sail, of heroes who win wars and the sun, moon and stars. Oh Nani, I will never forget the tales I hear after sunset. So this is a poem. It's a very beautiful poem by Manjula Shukla. And it is uh, her who is remembering her Nani. Nani is a grandmother. And this is a very cute little poem uh, or a discussion between, conversation between uh, the granddaughter and her grandmother, that is the Nani. So let's start with the first stanza. Oh Nani, tell me a tale of a friendly dog that wags its tail, of hills and valleys and forest green, of little fairies and their queen. So here, as you can see, uh, we are discussing about Nani and the little child who is Manjula Shukla, she wants her nanny to tell her a story. Now, what are the kinds of story that Manjula Shukla, she wants to hear from her nanny in the first stanza? So let us see what are those stories. Uh, so the granddaughter, she wants to hear story about a friendly dog, a dog who is very friendly and who loves to wag its tail. And how does the dog wags its tail? It wags its tail like uh, to right and left, right? And when they are very happy, the dogs, when the dogs are very happy, they love wagging its tail. So she wants to hear a story about a dog who is, who is very friendly and loves wagging its tail. Then she wants to hear stories of hills and valleys and forests which are covered with trees. Green means when do the hills and valleys and forests look green? When they this uh, when these regions or places are covered with full of trees, then we can uh, say that these uh, valleys and forests everything are green. Of little fairies and their queen, then she also lo loved to hear uh, stories about little fairies who have their own queen. So these are the three types of stories that the granddaughter would like to hear from her nanny. So what are the first, uh, what, what do you, ha what have we got in the first stanza? The first story she wants to hear is about a friendly dog who loves wagging its tail. 
than the hills and valleys and forests which are covered with green trees. Then the third one is of little fairies who have their own queen. So these are the three types of stories. Now let us come to the second stanza. Oh Nani, tell me a tale of lions and tigers and ships that sail, of heroes who win wars and the sun, moon and stars. Oh Nani, I will never forget the tales I hear after sunset. So now in the second stanza, she again tells her nanny to uh, to uh, the, uh, to narrate a story to her. Okay, now this time, what, what are the types of stories she wants to hear? About lions and tigers, that means about animals she wants to hear. Then ships that sail, then people who goes for a tour, right? They goes to a, uh, to a different country on ships. So she wants to hear those kind of stories. And also about the heroes, like the, 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 uh, having where the fighting happens and the hero wins and those kind of stories the granddaughter wants to hear. And also she wants to hear uh, stories about the universe, like the sun, about the moon, the stars, all the planets, the universe. She loves hearing those stories. So after that, uh, we came to know in the last two lines that old Nani, I will never forget the tales I hear after sunset. So in these two lines, what you get is that uh, she tells her nanny that I am never, I am never going to forget the tales, the stories that you are telling me, and which are the tales at which and at which time of the day uh, the na nanny tells her the stories after sunset. That means at night. These are bedtime stories. Whenever we go to uh, bed, we love reading either a book or love hearing a story from our parents or, or from our grandparents, right? So, even she, Manjula Shukla, she loves hearing whenever she went, uh, goes to bed at night time. She loves hearing the stories from her grandmother. Therefore, she writes in her last two lines of the poem that, Oh Nani, I will never forget the tales I hear after sunset. After sunset means at night. So this is the story about, uh, a very cute story about the granddaughter and the grandchildren. You have to remember the types of stories that the uh, granddaughter wants to hear from her grandmother. Now let us move to the next one. So let us discuss questions from your book. So this is your homework. You have to write the answer and I am going to share the answers in the Google Classroom. So question number one is, who is the child talking to? And as we have known from the poem that this is a conversation between the child and the grandmother. So the answer will be grandmother or nanny. Then the question number two is, what does the child want to listen to? Now this goes to you. And you have to write about the stories. Now let us move to the next one. Maths fun. Nani tells her granddaughter two stories every night. How many stories do they hear in a week? So this is your classwork. Do it. I'm going to share the answers in the Google Classroom. But first of all, you are going to do it on your own. So you have what is the maths fun you're saying? So Every night, every night, the nanny tells two stories to her granddaughter. Now, how many stories do they hear in a week? Now, in a week, how many days are there? Seven? Seven days in a week. Now, you have, and in the seven days, if the nanny tells two stories each day, then how many stories it will be as a total in a week? Count it, write it, and I'm going to share the answer in the evening. Then let us come to the EVS fun. Let us see what is written here. There are many stories about animals. Many of the most popular animal stories are from the Indian collection of stories, the Panchatantra. These stories are very, very old. So we have uh, heard about the Panchatantra stories. We have read about Panchatantra stories, right? So 
Panchatantra stories are the collection of Indian stories and they are very old and very famous. Now here in your book, look at the picture from two such stories. Can you guess which stories they are from? So as you know, you have already read most of the Panchatantra stories. So I would like to hear the answer from you. Please write the answer in your copy as uh, picture number A and picture B. So here are the picture. This, the first picture is picture A and the second picture is picture B. So this goes to you. Try to write the answer, name the stories and send it to me. I'm going to send you the correct answer in the evening. So the next question is from my side, which is find out the rhyming words from the poem. So we have discussed about rhyming words a lot of time. Now this is the time. This time you have to find out the rhyming words. There are lots of rhyming words in the poem. Just go through it, read the poem and then find out those rhyming words. We are going to discuss in our live class. So uh, before concluding my class, so today we have got three new words in our discussion. The first one is naming words. Second is the Panchatantra and the third is the popular. So these are some of the new words and kindly memorize the spellings of these new words. So here I'm going to conclude my class. I hope you read the poem and do the classwork as well as the homework properly and submit it.